this picture here right here is September of 2019 and all the hair that you see here is gone it's not on my head anymore welcome back guys I'm here with another video and if you're new to my YouTube channel ensure you subscribe to the channel before clicking away and hitting the notification bell beside the subscribe button so that every time I upload a video you will get a notification so to my right this is a photo that I took in September of 2019 which is literally less than two years ago I got my hair flat ironed on this day and it was awesome up until the moment when I washed my hair and realized that my hair could not revert back to the original curl pattern that I have. All this hair here that's there is no longer in my head because I ended up cutting everything off. A few months ago I made a video about the flat ironing experience and how badly it damaged my hair. I think Brenda was the one who commented on the video and said why don't you just cut everything off and I told her I didn't want to cut it off because I want the length. Up until recently I was like you know what I can't bother with these stringy stringy ends and I have to let go of the hair and I just cut everything off and I know you're wondering yeah I look like I have a full head of hair which I do thanks be to God my hair has grown enough for me to twist it and house it up in one let me just show you what I did to my hair here so it's in some big twists it looks kind of um, fuzzy right now because I have fuzzy hair. And then I put it up in one. Right? And when I pony it up here, I would just take the ends and tuck them in neatly with a hair clip. Now, if you got a recommendation for a hairstylist to get your hair flat ironed, ensure that whoever recommended you and whoever does their hair with that person ensure that you've seen their hair in its natural state before a lot of women are walking around with a lot of heat damage who flat iron their hair because it's something that they do constantly they don't ever wear their hair in its natural state they don't ever sport their kings or their coils and you always see their hair bone straight I definitely would say that they have heat damage ask them questions ask them about their curl pattern and if it comes back to normal when they wash their hair and if it's something that they would recommend the density of your hair is very important i believe personally that hair like mine should not be flat ironed and if my hair is flat ironed i would have to go to someone who definitely knows what he or she is doing my hair is so fine that the back of it is it's it's like so frail and soft and the moment you touch it or mishandle it in any form of way it just breaks off completely social media is a big thing nowadays if you don't have a social media page it's kind of weird or strange so it's good to see what that person has on their social media pages now a lot of times persons who do natural hair or even specialize in straightening natural hair they oftentimes like to convince you that hey if you come to me to get your hair done if you use my products and you get your hair flat ironed i can guarantee you that when your hair is ready to revert back to kink or revert back to your regular coils it will revert right back without heat damage very important if the person doesn't have a social media page maybe you could ask the person directly what condition are your clients here in when they revert back to their kinks i wished that this is something i did at the time when i got my hair done call and ask the stylist what type of products they use this woman did not use any products in my hair i'm, I'm not kidding all she did was shampoo conditioner she did not even put like a leave-in conditioner no, this woman never do nothing like that my hair was dry the only thing she put in it when she was done was um i think it was oil sheen spray that's the only thing i was mortified honestly i did not expect that you're doing natural here at least you put something in it after you condition it to go with all that heat that you're applying to the person's strands it's it's just thinking about it 
it's it's mortifying it's, it's horrifying it would also be best if the hairstylist does natural hairstyles so not only is she putting heat in here and making hair straight but also she's doing twists and corners and other types of natural hairstyles and dealing with other natural hair in like a wash and go so if it's a situation where you only flat iron it's kind of troubling to know and I'm not saying that stylists who only flat iron hair or who only do blowouts cannot care for your hair or they're not caring for your hair I'm just saying that it's a plus if the person styles hair in its kinky form now the temperature of the styling tool is very important when she did my hair she had it buck like mad hot and my hair can it's like my hair just couldn't manage what she put it through the thing about natural hair is that different people's hair has different strengths and my hair as i keep saying is very fine someone else will come strolling along and they have thick hair like polythene polythene is that string that you use to fly a kite another thing that i would recommend is that if you know the person is not too good with washing and caring for your hair and detangling it after it's washed I would recommend you do it at home on your own and you get your hair detangled, blown out and everything and then just go to them. You put your product, everything you want to put in there and then you go to them and you have the flat iron. Don't be a victim like me. Ensure you do all your research. Ensure it is something that you want to do. And when you're getting your hair flat ironed, you're taking a risk. You're taking a risk of having extremely damaged ends and having the cost just cut all your hair off let me know what you would recommend if you haven't heard any recommendations that i made in the list that i have here list it in the comments down below let me know what you would recommend for persons who are about to get their hair flat ironed remember guys to subscribe to the channel and i would admonish you nicely and kindly to just hit the bell beside the subscribe button persons are always telling me oh they're not seeing any videos from me am i still uploading of course i'm still uploading i love youtube <laughs> so hit the notification bell so that every time i upload a video you'll get a notification either to your phone or whatever other device that you're using and i'll see you in the next one bye